Hi, and welcome back to the Cannabis Sommelier for another episode of Cannabis and Craft Beer. I'm glad you could join me as I have an exciting brewery and producer that I'm excited to show off. So first of all, the beer I chose is from Big Rock. And Big Rock Traditional Ale is one of my favorite beers to drink consistently. This is actually my everyday drinking beer. Um, Big Rock was one of the fathers of craft beer in Canada. Started a brewery in 1985 and it's really cool. The reason he calls it Big Rock is because there's this anomaly in Alberta where I live in the prairies. Um, it's this completely flat everywhere until you come across this 16,000 ton boulder that's just sticking out of nowhere. And he wanted to make a beer like an anomaly like that. So this is an English style brown ale. You know, it's a pretty sweet, caramelly, malt, um, nutty, toasty. So it's got a mild hot bitterness and on the nose, it's not crazy uh, aroma filled, but it does smell a little bit like soy sauce. And I kind of like that. On the palate, super smooth, easy drinking, just caramel, nuttiness, creamy, delicious. So the extract I chose to pair it with is Purple White Lightning from Gastown Collective. And this purple white lightning is actually a hash rosin. So they would have taken a bubble hash and then put it into a rosin bag, pressed it through the rosin bag and extracted the essential oils um, from that bubble hash and left behind all the excess plant material that would have come out in a water sieving extraction. So the extract smells a lot, a lot of fresh plant material haze, Thai spices, cushy skunkiness, gassiness. It's actually really complex, a lot more complex than I first thought. There's almost a little bit of oak uh, to it too, like those baking spices, um, vanilla and nutmeg. So I think it's gonna go really well with the beer. Let's go back to the smell from the extract to the beer. It doesn't make much stand out of the beer except for um, the caramelly note. But when I go from the beer back to the extract, it really makes it smell very fresh, like fresh plant material, very alive, very excited, um, like it was freshly harvested is the only way I can describe it. Let's give them a taste together. It is a very sappy consistency for rosin. Pulled some big strings. Very woodsy, very fresh, aromatic. I can relate the woodsiness to like a, like an old man's cologne. There's just a tiny little bit of hashiness to it. Nice skunk and, a, and like a good thick gassy cush follow through. On the palate, the, the finish is like quite, quite woodsy again. It really livens up the beer. The soy sauce and caramel are gone and it tastes like I'm chewing on a delicious stick of wood. I can't tell you what wood it is, but it's like I went for a hike and just needed to throw something in my mouth. That's very interesting. Hmm. And on the second sip, completely washed away and back to the beer. So very interesting pairing, not something I was expecting what I'm finding with beer and cannabis is the changes are are different and not as dramatic as with cannabis and wine, but can be very enjoyable the way they're presented, but kind of confusing. The fact that that made it taste so fresh, like fresh plant matter really surprised me. And to be honest, I enjoy it. It made my cannabis extract definitely taste better than it did originally. Um, in my opinion. So 
If you're into drinking craft beer and uh, enjoying a little bit of cannabis, definitely check out some Purple White Lightning, Hash Rolls and Sap from Gastown Collective and have yourself a big rock trad ale. Cheers, until next week.